Hello everyone, and welcome back. Have you encountered the error code 4013 while trying to update or restore your iPhone with iTunes? Don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, I'll show you how to fix iTunes error 4013 and update or restore your iPhone without any problems. There are at least four solutions. Solution 1. Check the connection. Start by ensuring that your USB cable and ports are in good condition. It's always best to use an Apple certified cable. If the issue persists, try switching to a different cable. Or, consider updating or restoring your iPhone on a different computer dot. Solution 2. Update or reinstall iTunes. Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes. Alternatively, you can uninstall the current iTunes, then download and install it again. Solution 3. Put your iPhone into recovery mode. Connect your iPhone to your computer. Then use the volume and side buttons to put your iPhone in recovery mode. Start by pressing and releasing the volume up button. Then press and release the volume down button. Finally press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Then, open iTunes. Choose to update or restore your iPhone according to your needs. Updating or restoring your iPhone in recovery mode may circumvent the 4013 error. Solution 4. Fix iPhone Error 4013 with iSumSoft iOS Refixer. If none of the previous methods work, consider using this method. First, make sure your iPhone is connected to your computer via a USB cable. Then, download and install iSumSoft iOS Refixer on your computer. This is a professional and reliable iOS repair tool that can help you fix various iOS problems and iTunes errors without losing any data. You can click the link in the description to get it. Then, launch the program. Select the iTunes Repair option. Then, select Repair iTunes Errors. The program automatically checks iTunes for problems. If it checks for problems, click the Repair button to fix them. iTunes issues have been fixed. Then, you can reopen iTunes to update or restore the iPhone. If error 4013 persists, continue using the software and select System Repair. Choose Standard Mode. This option fixes iPhone issues without causing data loss and updates your device to the latest iOS version. Click Start to confirm. Click Next to allow the software to recognize your iPhone. Click Download to get the necessary firmware. Finally, click Repair to start repairing your iPhone. The repair was successful. That's it. Your iPhone has been updated and restarted, and you are not experiencing the 4013 error. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.